Fred Olsen's MS Belletta, which was formerly the Holland America ship Amsterdam, was built in the year 2000 by the Fincantieria shipyard in Italy and was purchased by Fred Olsen in 2020. She is 237 metres long, has a beam of 32 and a quarter metres wide and a draft of 8.1 metres deep and her gross tonnage is 62,735 tonnes. Belletta is now the flagship of the Fred Olsen fleet and was named after Fred Olsen's great-grandmother Belletta. With just 690 cabins, she boasts spacious and comfortable public areas with plenty of space to relax in. But enough of this, let's start our deck-by-deck -deck ship tour on Deck 3, the Promenade Deck, where you'll find our laundry room. On Belletta you'll find laundry rooms on both Deck 3 and Deck 6, and they are fully equipped with all that you need to do some washing while you're away from home. Or maybe you just need to pop in and press some of your garments before formal evening. Whatever you want, it's there for people to use. Deck 3 is also the home of the full wraparound deck on Belletta, a feature that's sadly missing on a lot of more modern cruise ships. We love to stroll along the prom deck, even in inclement weather like we had. Most of the sunbeds that you can see on the deck are reserved for those people who have the terrace cabins. But you're still able to enjoy some fresh air and at the aft of the ship you get to enjoy a spectacular wake view. Right at the bow of the ship, Deck 3 is also the access point that allows you to go out onto the forecastle. This is another facility available on Belletta and very few other ships. It really is great to go up to Deck 4 and watch the sail-ins and sail-outs from there. As we move along Deck 4, we come to the Neptune Lounge, which is the main entertainment venue on board. It features twice nightly shows, whether they be in-house production shows or guest entertainers. It's a very comfortable area to sit with plenty of leg room. It was also the venue for the captain's welcome on board event and during the day hosted lectures as part of the enrichment program. As we move towards the aft on deck four, you come to the photo gallery. This gives you a chance to view all the lovely photographs taken by the onboard photographers and purchase them if you wish to. Next we come to the impressive atrium on Belletta. Here you'll find a spectacular clock, comfortable seating areas, beautiful flower arrangements and it's also the home of guest services with their ever smiling faces and destination services. Next we come to the auditorium, which is a small comfortable venue which is used for cooking demonstrations, lectures and can also double up as a cinema during the evening time. We take a stroll now along a very colourful corridor. This was something we had to get used to, the bright colours that were all over the ship. And this takes us down into the area where you'll find the speciality dining restaurant Colours and Tastes. Colours and Tastes features an Asian fusion menu, but more about that when we do our full food review. If you're finding this helpful, please subscribe to the channel, where you'll find many other ship tours. Please give the video a like, and if you hit that notification bell, you'll be informed every time we put up a new ship tour. The Bloomsbury restaurant is the main dining room on board Belletta. It has a lovely ambience and views to the sea at the back. You'll find that breakfast, lunch and dinner is served in this restaurant with wonderful service with a smile. We really enjoyed our evening meals on Belletta. Access to the Bloomsbury restaurant 
is via the rear stairwell. And that brings us to the end of deck four. So I'll leave you in the capable hands of Lindsay to walk you through deck five. Thanks, Ken. We begin at the aft of the ship on deck five. Here we can find the terrace restaurant. This is the upper level of the main dining room. We then move on to the Australia room, decorated with Fred Olsen's hand-selected artwork collection. It's inspired by the natural wonders of Australia and is the perfect area for small gatherings, intimate dinners and tasting activities. The Orchid Room restaurant is an alternative formal dining venue. The Oriental Tea Room is quite stunning and serves a range of speciality teas at an extra cost. It also hosts the tea tasting sessions. The room has special ambiance and is perfect for that special cup of tea. The Earth Room is a quiet area inspired by Sir David Attenborough and Charles Darwin. It features a unique collection of books about our planet and what's happening to it. It was added to Belletta in 2023 and is designed to inspire. The Bookmark Cafe is a perfect spot for some peaceful relaxation. Start the day with a cup of Earl Grey tea or breakfast tea or sip a delicious latte or cappuccino. However you relax, you can while away the hours reading a book from the onboard library too. Oh, and don't forget to make room to indulge yourself with a selection of the handmade chocolates or freshly baked treats. Next, we find the Botanical Room, another comfortable lounge to relax in whilst enjoying a beverage, reading a book, chatting with friends or enjoying the scenery. As you can see, it's filled with plants. It has special botanical books available for you to browse and decor that is very calming. The Belletta card room provides guests with a relaxing space to enjoy a competitive hand or two or simply have a bit of fun perhaps with a delicious coffee or tea from the nearby bookmark cafe we now come to the piano bar a place to sit back and enjoy a drink whilst taking in the laid-back ambiance of this music themed venue here the talented pianist will keep you entertained it's a popular venue, particularly before dinner, to begin the evening in style. A new addition, and almost hidden out of sight, there's a small games room kitted out with gaming machines for those who are so inclined. The ship, however, does not have a full casino facilities. The Morning Light Pub and Lounge has a familiar, warm and welcoming feeling with paintings from the Olsons family collection. It has comfortable seating and a well-stocked bar with a selection of British and international beers and ciders. It can be a hive of activity and the venue for quizzes, shuffleboard, it has a bar billiard table, television screens on one side to show sporting events and resident singers and musicians to entertain. Shops on board Belletta offer everything that you may want or need during your stay on board. That can range from essentials or treating yourself or treating a loved one to a holiday gift. There's even a florist on board. Moving on, we find the Ocean Bar. This is the perfect setting in which to begin your evening. It's friendly and comfortable with a good choice of drinks, cocktails and mocktails. Some of the indoor activities are held here 
and also during the evening you have hosted dance sessions. This can be either with the live band or a DJ, ensuring that you make the most of that dance floor. The Future Cruises area is a chance to take guidance from onboard experts about the ideas for your next cruise and even perhaps book one. The Neptune Balcony is the upper level of Balletta's Theatre. The comfortable seats are tiered to afford good visibility throughout. With the exception of the laundry room and the lookout on deck 6, we now move up to deck 8 to find the rest of our public areas. And to begin with, we'll go right to the front of the ship, where we find the fitness centre. On Ballet, you'll find a fully equipped fitness centre, with instructors on hand to help you with any problems you may have. Or if you really feel like it, why not try a fitness class? And after all that hard work in the gym, why not pop next door to the Atlantis Spa, where you can rest and relax, or maybe treat yourself to a specialist treatment. The spa also has a beauty salon and hairdressers, so if you want to make yourself extra special on those formal nights, why not give it a go? As we move towards the aft of the ship, we come to the pool site. This is a pool area with a large retractable roof, making it useful in both summer and winter. Here you'll find a poolside grill and bar, serving light bites throughout the day. There's a table tennis table here, a large pool that's really good for swimming, and two jacuzzis. And at the far end of this area, there's another bar, the Lido bar, so you won't be short of a drink. After we leave the pool site, we come to Vasco, one of the speciality dining venues on board Balletta. She features Goin cuisine, and we certainly had a fantastic meal here. Next we come to The View, the buffet restaurant on board. We're not really fans of buffets, but this was something special. Although the choice of food wasn't as wise as we've seen on some larger ships, the actual service and attention to detail was first class. And if you want an afternoon tea, free of charge, then pop up here, there's one available every day. And right at the back of the ship on deck gate, we find another swimming pool and a large seating area where you can soak up the sun. And if you're feeling thirsty in the hot weather, don't worry, because the view bar is on hand to make you feel comfortable. The Olsen Art Studio on board Balletta is an impressive, light and airy space filled with arts and crafts material for a variety of projects. The studio hosts classes and activities guided by different instructors, as well as providing an open space for guests to visit and work on their own particular arts and craft projects. We move outside now to the upper outer deck and sports court area. Facilities are available for various deck sports, including tennis, shuffleboard and quince, weather permitting of course. But when the thing's on your mind, a rock considered a crime, communication aside, we'll all just fight till we die. Is this an argument or just the start of it? We head now along the deck to the observatory. Here the views are outstanding, the seating comfortable and largely outward facing. 
You can listen to a commentary here from the onboard teams to complement the various sites that you'll pass along your cruise. Also held here are the navigational chart and map reading session. As you move into the evening, the observatory comes to life with live performances and also the resident DJ. Choose from a selection of champagne, sparkly cocktails and mocktails adding that extra touch to your onboard experience and dance through to the early hours. Way back Let's before go. we do it all I know that things seem bad But they could be much worse There's always someone else Who has a greater curse A greater thirst A hunger, pain, and mirth Just find whatever you got We move on now to our final deck As we go up to deck 10 The sun deck I'm afraid to say that the sun was something lacking While we were on board But look at this beautiful area that you have With lots and lots of sunbeds Just to relax chill, read a book and soak up the sun maybe. So that brings us to the end of our quick tour around Berletta. Of course, the best way of seeing her is to sail on her yourselves and we will certainly be doing it again at some point. If you've enjoyed this and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and maybe check out some of our other ship tours in the ship tour playlist on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or maybe visit our website, Kengo's cruising.co.uk and put them in the contact us page